All right, coming up next, it's a UFC women's strawweight division matchup. Well, as she makes the walk here tonight, she's probably thinking right now, how do I get this opponent to the mat? Because if I can get through the takedown defense, I don't think she's getting up for the duration of the round. Her top game is scary good. And when you can control a fighter like that in a fight, you can sap their willpower and their gas tank. You better be able to stop her shot tonight. If not, it can make for a short night at the office. This girl is so good at taking fighters down from the clinch. You see fighters tie up with her and then immediately go on the defensive because she is trying to throw you, she's trying to trip you, she's trying to take you to the ground from the clinch by any means necessary. All right, so here she is back making the walk here tonight. Her takedowns certainly are the best in this division. So explosive. Her technique is just outstanding. And Joe, there's no telegraph. Even when the opponent has prepared and seemingly feels like they know what's coming, she will shoot from far out, still get in on those legs, and still get you exactly where you don't want to be fighting off of your back. As scary a takedown artist as we have in this women's division. This girl has outstanding defense and very good blocking technique. It's so difficult to hit her cleanly. It is a big advantage for her, and she has so much confidence in her defense because of that. Our tale of the tape for this strawweight fight. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist, but a professional record on. Seven wins, no losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Glendale, Arizona, USA, Mackenzie Bell. And now the producer of her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a kickboxer, holding professional record down. Ten wins, three losses. She stands five feet one inch tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Pilata, Keisha, the Tiny Tornado, Torres. Okay, could take yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. Here we go. Opens with the inside leg kick. Splits the guard and connects there. Front kick to the face. And she's doubling up on the jab there. Really swung everything into that kick, but fell short. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Well, she got her head snapped back with that jab, Joe, and she continues to show a vulnerability here by almost leaning right into her opponent's range. Let's see if she can move that upper body and get her head off the center line. Oh, nice change up on the tempo there as the hook in the clinch lands by Torres. Again. Landing a good series of strikes here. Oh, she tagged her with the right hand there. Just over three minutes now to go. 
Nice right hook. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown be? Torres has worked in that arm well. Double underhooks now. Back to over under. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. First takedown attempt is there. Just over two minutes, round one. Beautiful sweep. He tries to pass here, but gets shut down. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Torres. Oh, she connected flush into half guard again. Under a minute now to go in round one. Tries to pass here, but gets shut down. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Torres gets up and is back on her feet. Very nice. So she pummels under. Now she's got the other. Oh, she's grabbed the Kimura. It looks like that Kimura is locked in tight for her. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Four shots for the end of round one. Oh, saved by the bell. Round over. And the finish came just in time. Thought maybe she might tap there, but you know how tough she is. So the submission attempt right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. Back to the stools they go. We'll see if she can recover in time for this next round. And here we see some beautiful submission offense here. Let's take a look at that again. And let's look at that from a different camera. Brittany Palmer in the building tonight. Ready? Ready? Second round here. Good shot. Going to the body there with the right kick. string together significant combinations and it's going to take a good combination to really put her opponent in harm's way. Let's see how she chooses to attack here. Very nice timing with these shots here. Big left hand there inside. They are trading strikes here. This is an incredible exchange. Oh, straight right. Oh! What a leg kick. She works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really going to take their toll as this fight moves on. And the kick lands for her there. And she caught the kick. It's very close here. Getting tighter. technique setting it up and a beautiful job in getting that submission yeah no doubt about it that is some opportunistic grappling right there and nice finishing instincts as well you see a lot of fighters get the dominant position but aren't necessarily able to lock up the choke or force the tap no problem with her as she gets one of the bigger wins of her ufc career and here it is again absolutely perfectly executed And one more time, nice technique here on this submission. So there she is, your winner by way of submission. That's a finish they'll be talking about for some time. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 16 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out, Mackenzie Brown! Oh, well, how good was that as you get to see her now celebrating with her coaches and training partners? She really put an added focus on getting a submission win here tonight, or at least getting a finish. But she said, I got to figure out a way to leave the judges out of it. I don't want to go to the scorecards. I need to get a finish to take my career to that next level. And a submission win like this will certainly...